what's up guys and it is so great to be back hope you guys had a wonderful time during fall or school or whatever you're doing i just finished up the first semester and i'm on break right now so i'll be able to get some videos out and uh including this one of course and before this video starts i just want to get some information out there while watching this video i hope you guys would get a good sense of how i actually make these models the techniques and tips i will show you in this video can be pretty much translated across every model that i've made so far and if you make models like i said in one of my tips and tricks videos you guys should really email me some pictures of your models uh, make sure in the subject you put art for nerds so that way I can know what it is and my email is up on the screen it's ultimatejrock at gmail.com if I uh, remember correctly that's what this channel used to be called so yeah uh, just send some pictures I, I want to see them and I'll be happy to post them on my YouTube videos so that way you guys can get some credit so here he is, the step-by-step -step process to making the Paloma. All right guys, so um, my allergies are kind of driving me a little bit crazy right now. So uh, I apologize in advance if I'm like sniffling and stuff a lot, but um, let's get into it. So the one most important thing that I try to focus on is uh, scale. So I have with me the Odegaron and the Legiana in order to, because the Legiana would be bigger than the Palumu, and of course the Odegaron is smaller. Well, slightly smaller. And I'm going to use these two models to get a good scale to try to make sure this Paluma is uh, as close to the actual size like from the game so I always start with the head because the head is just a good way to start and it's a good way to get a sense of how large the rest of the body is going to be in relation to the head so like I said in uh, some of my tri tips and tricks videos, I don't really have like a set step-by-step -step process for each model. I just look up a picture and I have my computer right next to me. And I just keep that image right on my computer and as I'm building, I'll periodically look at it to make sure the body parts look right and all that. And, uh, yeah. But, I just take my scissors and some popsicle sticks. As you can see, I cut um, the end of this one off. And the Paolumu's face is actually quite small, and it has... A lot of like like the beers are big and the eyes are kind of buggy so it's gonna be kind of hard to figure it out um, don't be surprised if this video is cut a lot because um, I'm gonna like this is trial and error I'm basically gonna be trying to figure out how to make this as I'm showing you so let's get started I'm just gonna start cutting some edges off try to make the shape of the head
Now, pay it closely attention to the way I'm cutting. These popsicle sticks, I'm not sure how they're built, but, or how they're like made in the factory or whatever. Um, I can use this as an example. So, but the way they're made, they, um, it's as if they're like several strands of wood just like layered on each other. I'm pretty sure that's not how they're made, but that's how it, uh, behaves when you cut it so once you cut an area the and because it's thin wood it's going to start breaking at certain points and you have to learn where those points are and how in what direction you should cut in because that's really important so like let's say I want to make a teardrop shape out of uh, this corner right here if I cut right here, then if I cut along here and make uh, cut this piece off, I will have this shape, but the rest of the pos this popsicle stick cannot be used because it's going to start breaking. What I would want to do is I would cut along this way, and that way I would have both pieces left. See, let me show you. So, well, and it also depends on how fast and all that you do. Because there are times where I do cut this part and sometimes the other side does survive. But let's see what happens here. See, now I'm already cutting and right here in the corner is already starting to break. And along here it's going to make a break to the end of the popsicle stick. So, cut, have this piece, this piece a little weak right now so I'm just gonna break that off and as you can see if it'll focus I st see how this popsicle stick is now weak I could use of uh, certain parts of this to make like little pieces like maybe scales or something but for the most part this whole popsicle stick is um, rendered kind of useless but uh, yeah this is the ear piece I was working on and let's finish that up So yeah, uh, what I'm doing is I'm laying this ear piece that I cut uh, along this popsicle stick, this other one, and I'm trying to, it's basically like tra tracing, but you, this, when you're doing this, this is, it's very important to, like I said, pay attention to how you're cutting the popsicle stick, because you could almost have this piece, which I've done several times, you could almost have this copy piece really done and then you cut the wrong way and then the whole rest of it breaks like and it sucks and I have to start all over again so now I have two ear pieces one is a copy one is the original they both look pretty much identical and now I can start figuring out how I'm going to put these together. So, what I'm going to do is the Palumu's head kind of, co it comes at an angle, and then the ears are on the side, of course. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish putting just 
like it doesn't really matter how, how perfect the shape is just put a little bridge right here just for the shape of the head to stand on so I'm just gonna cut that and I'll have this little rectangle and let me lay this glue on here and push that in so yeah it's not perfect but that is all right because we don't need it to be perfect we just need it to hold something up basic shape of the top jaw of the Paloma. It looks like a little mouse which is perfect and adorable and that's exactly what we want the Paloma to look like. So I'm going to time lapse a little bit um, just to shorten this video and you guys pretty much you should know how to cut popsicle sticks. Um, I would hope you do. <laughs> and it's gonna be nothing too complex all I'm going to do is fill in this side fill in this side uh, just basically round out the head get some pipe cleaner in there just so I can start doing the bottom jaw and then I will uh, slow it down a little bit to real time to show you how to make forms with the glue instead of the popsicle sticks which is what you'll have to do um, a lot of times to make certain shapes but let's get into it Alright, so this video is already pretty long, uh, so I'm going to try to wrap this up pretty quickly. I'm going to take this pipe cleaner and start making the joint for the neck and the bottom jaw. Usually, you can mix both of them together, but the Palumu has uh, the ability to like puff up, like suck in air and puff up its neck. You guys should know that. So I'm going to try to make this flower design for the neck, so that way it can extend and contract, mimicking the effect of its like. Uh, bloating or whatever it's called <laughs> in the game so what I'm gonna do is I have the basic head shape and I'm going to put pipe cleaner along the back and put some popsicle sticks over it to make it uh, stiff and sort of hold it in place and then I'm gonna fold this over and make the joint for the bottom jaw then I'm going to cut off some and put the rest attached at the back of the head and make a couple of joints um, coming off of there so that way it can be able to move and puff up its neck and there you go
so I always try to make sure the models can close and open their mouth it doesn't always where actually it almost never works uh, completely so but even so I still try to uh, make it close as much as possible and usually sometimes it does close but then over time of course it will like wear down and the pipe cleaner will get used to a certain position and it will fix itself in that position and it won't close anymore so it really depends it doesn't really matter too much but it's just for aesthetic purposes so in a little bit I'm going to show how I kind of draw with the hot glue and create different shapes for different purposes mostly to get like round shapes like eyeballs or sometimes if a monster has a lot of scales actually like on the Odegaron's tail uh, I could just do it a lot quicker it's kinda lazy to do it that way but um, it saves a lot of time so yeah I've got the tooth and I'm just gonna make the nose so when doing this you have to be careful not to touch it and you have to blow the popsicle stick or use a fan or something so I mean the popsicle stick the hot glue so that way it'll dry faster because you can't touch it or you're gonna leave your fingerprint and you're gonna change the color and it's just gonna not look okay then you have to start all over so you make sure you have a good bit of hot glue in your uh, gun so that way you won't have to worry about running out in the middle of doing this so you just carefully squeeze out a good bit enough to get the size and shape that you want and instead of touching it you can you let gravity do its thing and the hot glue will move around uh, as much as it can and well, I'm just gonna blow it so it will dry faster and I see that this is still a little bit too small and the good thing about this hot glue is once you apply more heat to it the whole thing is just gonna reform so when adding more glue you don't have to worry about uh, changing the form too much because the hot the heat from the hot glue gun is just gonna make the whole thing melt again and if you really have to change the shape dramatically make sure you have like a cold metal object so that way you can move it but the hot glue won't stick well, I use the scissors to so there you go so it will dry like almost instantly and you can still move it so I have that shape for the eyeball and now I'm going to do the other side and then all I'm going to do is just do like the edges of the ear to make like those uh, inner rings I can't remember what they're called <laughs> but just to make like the, sh the ear pop out a little bit and then I'm going to start forming and finishing the bottom gel. Okay, so I'm losing daylight, but I'm just about wrapping up this video anyway. Um, I don't know what was going on, but that second eyeball took unnecessarily long. 
to finish and it was honestly kind of annoying so um, that happened now I also did the nose and the ends of the ears like I was saying and uh, that pretty much finishes the top of the head now I just need to finish the bottom jaw I may, might add some teeth depending on uh, what can fit in there I don't want to change the look too much um, but if I can I'll add some more teeth and then I'll start the back of the neck and we'll have the Palumbu's head okay so here we have it the Palumbu's head um, it took a little bit longer than I thought and I forgot how hard it is to cut small pieces of popsicle stick I have like the teeth in and like the kind of a cheek right there I'm probably gonna take a piece of newsprint and like lay it across here just so it can have kind of like a lip I guess um, I hope you guys learned something next time I'll probably start with the uh, shoulders of the body and go inward so that way I can connect the neck because it's kind of a new idea and I'm gonna have to do some thinking on that to try to see how to implement it and make it work well so here's the problem with head thank you guys for watching and I very much appreciate the subscribers uh, we're at uh, 126 I think by now and I hope it keeps growing you guys have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Peace.